Hello? Hello? For those of you that have followed me for a while, you'll know that my dream is to be a writer and director of TV dramas and feature films. But that dream can feel like a very distant place. It's easy to fall into the rat race of commercial work, just working for the paychecks that come in, especially when you get to travel to exciting places and work with fun technology. But if you want to get to the point of writing, directing, feature films and TV dramas, then you've got to start walking that path. Now I've always seen myself as a director first and a writer second. So to call myself a writer always felt a little bit like a lie. But that changed this year. So back in the spring of 2021, I entered a screenplay contest. It's run by a company called Film Market Hub and they run a whole bunch of different screenplay contests. And the one I entered was the TV pilot English screenplay. Now often these things are disappointing because they're expensive, they're time consuming, and you might not even get feedback, let alone any success. But this time, I won. Winning a screenplay contest is the most bizarre, exciting, just totally validating experience I've ever had in my film career. And it's something that was a complete shock to me when I was first announced as a quarter finalist, I just couldn't believe it and then a semi-finalist. And to be announced the winner, my first thought was they've made a mistake. I was waiting for that next email to say, really sorry, we didn't mean to send that to you. But that email never came. I did win it and it was just like something else I've never experienced. As a result of winning that contest, I got to pitch my TV show to studios like Lionsgate TV or Film Nation who have made The Arrival, The King's Speech, Promising Young Woman, a whole bunch of incredible films. Now, I'm sure there's many of you out there who would like to write a TV drama or a film one day, and I thought I'd give you some tips on how I actually managed to write this 70-page screenplay and why I think it may have done really well. So if you are one of those people, then stick around, and if you want, leave a comment and just let me know what genre it is that you want to write. So the first and most important thing is to understand that desire beats discipline. You may tell yourself that you're gonna write every day or set yourself a writing challenge, but that's really hard. And as soon as you start falling behind, you're just gonna be demotivated and you're not gonna carry on. And before you know it, you're gonna just feel frustrated. We're all human and we all procrastinate. And even though we talk about wanting to write, we often don't. We just don't feel the desire to sit there and do it. So the only way I managed to write this script was to find something I desired so much that it would make me do it. So for me, that was finding contests that I wanted to enter. It was giving myself a hard deadline. And I did that with every different stage. So my very first draft to get that done, I found a contest that gives you feedback. And using that as a hard deadline, I managed to write my first draft. The final draft, the one that did end up winning, I had planned to enter into Film Market Hub for about a year, if not two. I managed to force myself to sit there and do it, whether that was on my days off or after a shoot, coming home and working on it till one, two in the morning. And I managed to get it in with two minutes to spare. So finding something with a deadline that I really desired, it gave me a reason to write more so than I want to be disciplined. So a lot of people will tell you to write what you know, but I think a better way of looking at this is to know what you write. We can't just write about the things that we know because our knowledge is limited, our experiences are limited, but to tell stories that focus on other cultures, other people, different worlds that you don't know much about, 
you have to really understand it and be authentic with it, be genuine with it, and do the hard work that it deserves. So my script, Sunrise Meets Sunset, focuses on a jazz musician and nuclear fusion, which is an odd pairing, but it seems to work. So I already knew quite a bit about jazz because I played jazz growing up, but there's a lot about the culture, about the context that I didn't know, and I had to go away and do loads of research. Whereas nuclear fusion, I didn't really know too much about at all. So last year I did a science course, not necessarily for that reason, but it did help massively. And if I hadn't done that course, then I'm pretty certain my script would not have won. It took me three years to write this script, which is a hell of a lot when you think about it. And I knew this was an idea that I thought could be really good because it never left me. For a long time, this, just this idea kept coming back and eventually I wrote a first draft and then I left it a couple of months, wrote a second and so on. And that meant that I had three years to kind of research and really get to know different elements and the different people within my story. Tip number three is to not start on page one. Looking at that blank page is terrifying. And the first 10 pages are massively important in scripts. When you enter your script into a contest, quite often the readers will only look at the first 10 pages in the first round. If they like it, then they'll read the rest. If they don't, that's it, chance gone. So it doesn't matter how good the following 60, 90, 100 pages are, if the first 10 aren't very good, well, you're not gonna get anywhere. Now that's a lot of pressure on the first 10 pages. And for me, I don't find it that helpful to start with that pressure. I like to write somewhere that I have a natural energy for already. So the most likely place that's gonna be is what's known as the inciting incident. This is the moment where the hero has to make a choice or something happens to them that turns their life in a new direction and sets them on this journey. It wasn't until the very end I went back and wrote the first 10 pages because I knew that it had to really, really encapsulate where I was going to be going with the story and give some sense of intrigue and be the best bit of writing I had. Tip number four is to rewrite from scratch. You're going to hate this one, but I think it's one of the most important things you can do. So rather than just writing a script and then going in and editing it, like yes, that is important, but more so towards the fifth draft, the sixth draft. What you wanna do is write a screenplay, then either print it off or just have it somewhere, then completely rewrite it from scratch. You can refer back to it, but every time you write those words out again, you're gonna be thinking a little bit harder about does this deserve to be on the page? Is it actually what I wanna say? Now you will find there are scenes from your first draft which survive all the way through to your final draft. But if you don't rewrite from scratch, you're gonna to find too many scenes stay from the first draft that maybe shouldn't be there. I ended up completely changing different scene orders, cutting characters out altogether, and rewriting dialogue time and time again. Now there are a few things that really helped me write the screenplay, which is a hard thing to do. It's really hard to sit there and force yourself to do it. And these things all helped. But at the end of the day, you have to be writing a good story. You have to have a good plot, interesting characters, and be writing it in a way that is intriguing and well written. So making sure the script is formatted correctly, making sure you're not using too much exposition. You are letting the story come out through the action, through the subtext rather than just huge chunks of explanation in the dialogue. You need to be asking yourself questions like, am I torturing my hero enough? Is this journey getting harder for them? But at the end of the day, it's better to just write anything and just keep writing and keep changing and keep growing than to have a perfect idea and never start. So just start writing, doesn't matter how good or how bad it is. Now, if you are wanting to know a little bit more about script writing, then I'm just gonna point you in a couple of places that might help because they helped me. So the first one is Tyler Mowry on YouTube. He does a whole bunch of really, really good videos breaking down story structure, character development, plots, all these core components of what goes into a script. There's a whole bunch of great advice there for free. The second place is Studio Binder on YouTube. Again, they break down really good TV shows and feature films and unlock why they work so well. They'll often look at the first 10 pages or the first scene and talk about how you can emulate 
those successful parts of the story. Me and this guy are having a meet cute. <laughs> and the final place is, if you're interested, I have a relatively new class out on Skillshare about how to get past writer's block. So if you're interested in that, then there's a link in the description below. That'll give you a month's free access to Skillshare. So you can watch that class there, but no pressure. I'll be posting new videos soon about my experience pitching this TV show to these major studios and what I learned doing that. So keep your eye out for that. Feel free to drop me a comment and let me know what you're working on. Or if there's anything you'd like to see from me, by all means, let me know in the comments below as well. See you soon.